Believe it or not, the Amazon River used to flow in the completely opposite direction merging into the Pacific Ocean and not the Atlantic Ocean. Let's go over 200 million years in the past when Earth did not used to have seven continents. Rather, there was just one supercontinent called Pangaea, which was surrounded by the superocean, Panthalassa. The Earth's internal tectonic plate movements caused Pangaea to break into multiple parts. This process took millions of years because the relative movement of the plates typically ranges from 0 to 10 centimeters per year. The earliest form of Amazon River originated as a transcontinental river and flowed towards west during the Cretaceous geological period. It was part of the Proto-Amazon Congo River system and used to originate from the interior of the Africa. This was the time when the South America and Africa continents were connected and were part of Gondwana land. Congo River being in higher land on Africa used to flow into the Amazon, which was comparatively at lower level. The combined river was 6,000 miles long that would be around 2,000 miles longer than the present-day longest river Nile. The two continents split 80 million years ago, Congo remained in Africa, and Amazon became part of South America, flowing west into the Pacific Ocean. Around 15 million years ago, one tectonic plate named Nazca Plate started moving underneath another plate named South American Plate, which started forming Andes Mountains. This rise of the Andes Mountains and the linkage of the Brazilian and Guyana bedrock shields blocked the river from three sides and caused the Amazon basin to become a vast inland sea. It gradually became a huge swampy, freshwater lake. The freshwater provided a perfect ecosystem for marine life, and Amazon rainforest emerged around it. The Amazon remained landlocked for 5 million years and kept on finding a way to the ocean. Around 11 million years ago, the relentless Amazon waters worked through the sandstone, and the Amazon began to flow eastward into the Atlantic Ocean. The sea levels dropped during the Ice Age, and the massive Amazon lake started draining, and eventually turned into the today's Amazon approximately 2.40 million years ago. It is almost 4,000 miles long and passes through nine countries Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Bolivia, Suriname, Guyana, French Guiana, and Brazil. The Amazon River system spans one-third of the South American continent. The river has got 500 million years old mineral grains from sediments from mountains and is abundant in natural resources. It contains world's largest bauxite reserves which have 15% of the world's total bauxite. Source of today's Amazon River The Amazon originates from the Hyanean Mountains of Peru. Since the mid-17th century, the Maranon River, which adds the maximum volume of water in Amazon, had been considered the start point. In 1971, a National Geographic team led by Lauren McIntyre identified the headwaters of the Apurimac River as the ultimate source of the Amazon. But the recent discovery of the Montaro River in southwestern Peru started a debate again. Considering Montaro as the source of Amazon adds 47 to 57 miles to the length, but then there have been opposing voices saying that Montaro dries up for five months in a year, so cannot be considered as the true source of Amazon. How Amazon was named Amazon The name Amazon was given to it by a Spanish explorer Francisco de Orellana when he was passing through the river with his group in the 16th century, and they were attacked by the native warriors. The warriors were led by the women. It reminded Francisco of a tribe of women warriors known as Amazon warriors in Greek mythology. Amazon is considered to be second longest river after Nile. But in 2007, the Brazilian scientists extended the Amazon's length by about 176 miles by including the adjacent estuary called Para River and the connecting tidal canal. It makes Amazon 41 miles longer than the Nile. The longest river might be debatable, but there's no dispute about the largest river by volume. The Amazon freshwater flows into the ocean at an astonishing rate of over 55 million gallons per second. That is more than the next seven largest rivers combined. The river has a basin of the size 2.7 million square miles, which is more than double the size of India. The Amazon River astonishingly carries carries 20% of the total freshwater on Earth. Sahara Desert in Africa feeds minerals to Amazon River. Hard to believe, right? It's been around 80 million years since Africa and South America split. But it's so incredible to know the two continents are still so closely linked.
not directly, but by sand. The Amazon is fed minerals like phosphorus, from sands which travel thousands of miles across the Atlantic, all the way from Africa's Sahara Desert, during the months of June, July, and August every year. It is one of the most astonishing phenomena on Earth, captured by NASA from space. The Amazon River and its rainforest are home to about one-third of the species on the Earth. It is home to the most dangerous and endangered species. There are so many stories of humans being eaten alive by fearsome, red-eyed prana in the water with its razor-sharp, triangular-shaped teeth. In 2018, six men were charged for the sexual assault of a British female. They had thrown her into the water after slitting her body parts. Piranhas ate her alive. Few other rare species are the dangerous green anacondas, sloths, macaws, toucans, black caiman, and pink dolphin. The Amazon is 4,000 miles long, but surprisingly there are no bridges built to cross the Amazon River. Only way to cross the river is to use the boat. The Amazon River hides something underneath, which is much bigger than itself. In 2011, a team of researchers accidentally found another mere river flowing under it, while studying temperature variations at inactive oil wells drilled in the 1970s and 80s by Brazil's state-run oil company Petrobras. The thermal information helped the team in identifying the movement of water under the Amazon River. The underground river is four times wider than the Amazon itself and flows 2.5 miles below Amazon. It flows in the Amazon River's direction and has same length as Amazon. The river was named Hamza River, after the Indian scientist, Thalia Manathil Hamza, who led the research group that found the river. It has only 3% of Amazon's water volume and flows very slowly. Amazonian tribes have lived in the rainforest for centuries and were not known to exist until a few years ago. Unfortunately, most of the Amazon rainforest tribes were slaughtered by foreign explorers or they died of the diseases the foreigners brought with them. This is the incredible Amazon for you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.